This is very important, apes. Look at this. It says AMC, according to the street, AMC and Adam Aaron has lost the support of the apes. True or false? So right now, 4,149 votes, which is a pretty decent amount, honestly. Out of all those votes, 82.5% still say I support AMC and Adam Aaron. And 175 say that they don't. Now, this is honestly kind of surprising to me. With all the FUD and everything that I've been seeing online as of recently, I would have guessed that it would probably be like 70-30, but it's really cool to see that the majority, more than the majority, honestly, support Adam Aaron and AMC. But I want to hear from you guys down below. Comment yes or no. Do you still support Adam Aaron and AMC? Comment yes. Or if you do not support, no problem. Just comment down below. No. Short sellers don't understand. If I were going to sell my AMC position, I'm at the point where I would be in a huge depression. It's zero or win for me and millions of others. I don't let opportunity get away. We truly love a stock. Now this state makes a good point, and to be honest with you, a lot of us that got into AMC originally are down so much on our shares that at this point, just like this ape says, it's pretty much zero or hero, nothing in between. And a lot of the posts that I've been seeing in the overall AMC sediment in the ape community is pretty much the same. So my final question is, when are the short sellers going to understand? We have been holding and buying AMC for over two years. We have seen corruption at the highest levels, but nothing compares to what we witnessed this week. But the level of crime is unsustainable. Look at the numbers for yourself. They are building the biggest bubble and collapse Wall Street has ever seen. Why didn't they cover? Simply because they can't until we sell, and we are not selling at these prices. It's been a crazy, crazy last few weeks, and something massive could be right around the corner. This is pretty insane. It says Justice Department closes in on short sellers. Let's take a look. It says FBI agents raided the homes of prominent short sellers last year. Now criminal charges may be imminent. The meme stock bear. Andrew Left, a hedge fund manager famous for shorting meme stocks, was one of the short sellers whose home was raided. As I predicted at the time, his investors have pulled out. Again from Bloomberg. Two years after the FBI agent showed up to the California home to seize computers and phones, the short seller who terrorized more than 100 companies and riled an army of meme stock traders is describing what it's like to feel hunted. His pioneer firm, Citron Research, no longer has investors. He's all but stopped pitching ideas publicly. He even wiped his once-feared Twitter accounts. The Justice Department has not made any specific allegations against Left. No one has proven he's guilty of anything. But Left's short positions have already cost him clearly. He took massive losses shorting GameStop in 2021 and finds himself ostracized in the industry and personally. But what is the government looking for? Short sellers typically short a stock, they publish a negative article or research report, then profit when the shares fall. When the Justice Department has not said what exact wrongdoing they're looking for, they may be digging into these reports and they may be trying to build a case. How it ends, I find it hard to believe that the government will spend years investigating an industry. After all, taking on a big hedge fund manager will make a prosecutor's career. What's more, short sellers might be the least sympathetic group of people imaginable. If politicians think jobs in their districts are at risk due to a short seller raid, they will act. Which means we might actually see criminal charges, but comment down below what you think is going to come out of all this. Make sure to check out all these other videos to catch up on all the latest AMC Stock DD and information you need.